Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Gail, and today we're gonna look at the estate sale haul that I got. If you don't know, I buy and sell stuff for a living, and today I'm gonna go for some of the auction items that I got on high bid that were estate sales, and um, I spent a total of $117 on all of this. Whether it's a good buy or not, I'm not sure, because some of the stuff you don't really see or know what's in it. So let's take a look and let me know what you think below. Okay, so first off is this hobby horse. I spent $25 on this. I wanna say the comps were over 50, probably like 60. I did not realize that this is open like that. So that reduces the value of it. This is just sometimes it's the things you don't see. Actually, um, this is actually the way that the container is folded. So we'll see. I'll just have to disclose that when I go to sell it. So this is part of the bigger purchase. Okay, now I spent $10 for this closet of items um, and they were coats and what have you. I just thought I can probably flip this pretty easy. This is a really nice shawl. Um, and here's another one that's red that's pretty nice wrap around. Um, but I saw some retro jackets. So let's really get into why, again, they were hanging. So it was really hard to see. What I saw was this and I was thinking, okay, this could be vintage, but I really don't think it is. This is just like casual clubs clothing uh, with a red and green scarf to go with a jacket. And then this one is just a faded glory jacket. But they're in pretty decent shape. I can maybe sell them for, you know, a few bucks. Texans Windbreaker. Um, I had seen like um, a stain kind of at the bottom. Yeah, so this, I might actually just try to wash it and see if that'll come out. But that's not bad, it's real lightweight. Now this one's kind of retro looking and I'll have to see if I can clean it up, but it's Christian Dior XL. So who knows? I have to look and see if I can get it cleaned up. I don't know what it'd be worth, but this looks pretty vintage to me. What do you think? One is um, Astro's pullover, which will go for something as long as it's in decent shape. This is what we're looking at. That's, it looks crocheted to me. If this is handmade crocheted, this might can go for some more money. Maybe. It looks like it's hand crocheted. There's, there is a tag on it, so I guess it's not. That I think is inside out, but this is tender, loving care. It could be handmade. And then there's this, that it's not branded and I don't see a size on it, but it's kind of cute. It's kind of like bistro-like, I don't know. You never know, right? So that's what I paid $10 for all of these. It's not a bad price, but um, maybe just a couple of things that I got that will get me my money back and then a little bit more, but not too much profit. I have to price all this out, but this is Coca-Cola memorabilia. So these were cute. These were like little chairs and tape. There's a, a table here um, that's made out of wood. And then you've got this Coca-Cola lunch kit. Um, the price on here was $7.99, so I don't really know if that's the current value. Okay, so this, I don't really know the dimensions yet. I'm going to guess it's about 5 by 12, maybe. So that's pretty cool. Leaded glass or something like that. Um, and it's just all these tins. This actually feels like there's something in it. Oh, super cool. It's a puzzle, y'all. Unopened, brand new. So that should sell. In case you were wondering, here's what that Coca-Cola table looks like right here that these chairs go to. So it's kind of cool, but it's definitely like someone hand did it. You could see someone. It's not a great job, but somebody might be interested in that. And I got this crate. Um, it looks like it had drinks in it at one time. This does not look very old, so I'll have to look at the comps and see what I can get on that. This is an empty tin. And this one has, it says it said metal art, so I have to look it up. I want to say I could have gotten about $15 for it, but it's 20 collection cards, metal art cards. I think I looked this up because I saw it in the pictures and thought that might be worth something. 
and this is looking somewhat vintage. Okay, so they're playing cards in here, but I don't know that they go in here. You know what I'm saying? I want these tins. Um, and these are small, but um, there's some kind of a sticky stuff on here. And the price was only $1.99, but there's three of them. So I might could sell those uh, for, I don't know, sell them as a lot. This one right here, which is kind of cool. It's a, something else that they had on the wall, but it opens up. Oh, look at that. And there's a pin in there. So who knows, right? That might go for something. So that is it for this Coca-Cola lot here. I paid $5 for this lot. It's a Texans blanket. Of course, they didn't disclose it looked like this. So, darn it. So is this, this throw blanket and this throw blanket. So I think I looked up the comps on this one and I might get 30 for it. So that's if the Texans blanket is crap, which it looks like it's as bad as the team. I'll probably have to throw that away. And then I got this. Lexus golf um, bag. If I clean it up, I mean, there's not very many comps, but it went, I saw some for 80 or $90, but let me show you. I saw some of these. I didn't see this until I got it. These rivets and certain things are rusted or sports. So you can see all of these are kind of rusted. So I may not get what I had hoped for it, but I should get more than five dollars and it included all of these glo uh, clubs um these say mcgregor i have not looked through them all to see if any of these are actual different than mcgregor's and worth something if they are that's a bonus but i may can just sell all these as a set this is a rawlings um i don't know the rollings i will have to look but i think i could still sell these i'm gonna get more than my five dollars back and i don't want to just make my money back i want to make my money back and then some and this shelf right here looks like those shelves that i use that i got from home depot and they are but the width of them i thought was for a tote and it's not i got these for ten dollars which is great because when i buy mine they're for set they're 50 so that was a good price so i can still use this just for random stuff not necessarily stuff in the totes that's a purchase for resale not for flipping okay so this next purchase don't judge me i told myself i was not going to do this but it was in a um, utility room on a shelf above their washer and dryer um it was called laundry room miscellaneous lot i paid ten dollars for it I didn't know what was in it, but there was some cleaning stuff and things like that that I can use personally and resell what I can't. So let's take a look at that, just kind of high level. Okay. It's uh, these hooks. Oh, it's like some sort of a air, remove air bag thing. Um, and this touch light, which these aren't really worth a whole lot, honestly. And then we got some of these. You put these in the, your shoes in there and wash it. Interesting. Um, some sandpaper that's been used, 400 grit. Um, these, um, if this has not been open, which may not have been used, um, I might can sell that. I think I can. And another mesh bag for laundry shoes as well. This is not OxyClean, but it's meant to look like it. We'll see how that works. And starch, which I don't really need. So some of this I might throw away this is some fabric softener generic brand but it came with um this oxyclean spray what's left of it and um this men wax paintbrush it came with everything in this bag just some generic brushes um that's tool bench is the brand some clear rust-oleum paint stuff Shout swipes if this is unopened, which it is, that might can go for something on eBay. I have to look at the comps. Magic Shield, no wax floor care. Um, I don't know, just a lot of random 
laundry stuff, but I figured it was stuff that I could use. Scotch Guard's pretty cheap, pretty expensive, and this is mostly full, so I can always use that on stuff. I don't use starch on anything, so I'll give that away if somebody wants it. And Dylan Cold Ultraviolet, I don't know, fabric dye. Um, the retail on that was $2.99. So this bag is also full of random stuff. It's a casino um, computer game. Retail for $24.99. Pretty sure I won't get that for it. Um, one of these clotheslines. $6 was the reduced price. Pretty sure I won't get that. But you never know, right? And this is um, uh, weather stripping. Yeah, weather stripping seal. So some of this might be worth some things. And this, man, in Texas, can never have enough of this wasp and hornet killer. Never. So these, these aren't likely to be used for resale, but I will use them for personal. Okay, now this said it was a mix of sports card collections, so it didn't say just baseball. No one bid on it, so I took it for five bucks. There's, there's some football. Um, lots of, there's baseball, football, oh, the Cowboys, well, this one looks like it's cool. What is that? Does anybody know about cards? Here's a basketball one. That one looks fancy. Anthony Mason, Charlotte Hornets. I don't know anything about it. So, but this is pretty cool. Maybe there's a gym in there. Maybe there's a gym in here. I paid five bucks for the entire lot. All of these. There's a pack that's been opened. So if it was a collector, upper deck world club cup soccer. So there was a collector in here. They probably got the good stuff. If there's nothing worth anything, then it's not a big loss. For $5, I got these cloth napkins and doilies. These doilies I thought were really pretty and I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll go for a good amount. I paid $5 for this entire lot because nobody else wanted it. So, and then there's some more cloth napkins. So I was more interested in the doilies because I think they'll be worth something. So there's one of these pink ones and then one, two, three, four of these. I don't know if they're worth anything, but for five bucks, I was willing to take that risk. Now for $5, I got all of these mugs. This one, I looked it up and I can't remember. So I don't know why I'm telling you I looked it up, um, but it's a rum chata. And I thought this went for like five bucks or something, but I didn't know what all of these were from because I couldn't see them all, but this is Notre Dame. And these are brand new mugs, Grace. This one's I Love Grandma. There's a grandpa one, another grandpa one. So a couple grandma and grandpas. Um, so these are brand new, like some kind of a collector mug. Hilo Haiti, the store of Hawaii. So whoever probably, I don't know if they traveled and collected these. This has cookie cutters in them. It was a $5 deal. This is actually kind of pretty. This is Green Gate. I don't know. If that's anything special, but it says Lena on the inside. Um, and that's it for those mugs. For that shelf, I actually paid 15. I thought I paid 10, but I did not. I paid 15. So still cheaper than buying it in the store. Okay, so I live in Texas and it's kind of cool outside because it just rained, but it's still hot and muggy. So my hair, I went to Colorado and I just got back today or this morning and I'm kind of tired ready to relax so I'm not gonna mess with really any of this but I'm going to go through while I watch TV and relax I'm gonna go through these cards and take a look and look them up and see maybe there's a gem in here hey that's what I'm gonna do thanks for watching I appreciate you taking time to rummage through this with me and stay tuned for future videos and I'll see you in the next one bye y'all mm -hmm.